hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is mariam and if you're just joining us for the first time you're highly highly welcome this channel is all about limitless inspirational um, channel whereby we create inspirational that is limitless inspirational content to bless everyone and also to be a blessing please just feel free to subscribe to this channel make this your home and just support this channel thank you so much and god bless you and for my returning subscribers i just want to say a big thank you to all of you in fact a big shout out to all of you and say thank you for your continuous love and support thank you for this journey that you've you know you've been part of all this while thank you for returning back to this channel just clicking you know and um, to watch this channel again um it's 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 mind-blowing i'm so humble and i appreciate you all thank you thank you thank you and god bless without further ado let's just you know get ourselves some popcorn some drinks depending on the kind of drink you want to drink or water and uh just sit down and uh let's get this started because it's gonna be a, an interesting story time and at the same time tips and uh we're just gonna learn a lot of things through this true life story of mine please uh invite everyone as much as you can share this this video and support this video before further ado let's get this started let's welcome back to our channel yes we're just gonna dive in straight to today's um episode and today's video it's all about my journey my true life journey um during those days that i was modeling i was uh, um, the queen of my school miss nasaro estate um the queen of nasaro estate and before then i was the queen of my campus my university miss unikefe and it it's it the, the story is so interesting it uh looking at looking back now from where i was coming from in, in regards to that experience i find out that a lot would have been done uh, because before doing all of that i was aiming something most beautiful girl in nigeria and mbgn i know a lot of you know mbgn pageant that is being held like every year or every I can't really remember right now because you know I've not been following such up like before so before going for such um, competition you have to maybe go through some of the other competition that is really relative to that one before going that big and after that you, you could as well if you're successful if you scale through the Miss, Miss Nigeria or the Miss country you are representing Miss Tanzania Miss Ghana Miss USA Miss 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 Canada Miss whatever Miss Doha if you're able to scale that that category then you can further go for the international international pageant and it's really an interesting journey it, it involves a lot of girls a lot of uh, beautiful girls to be precise a lot of intelligent girls to be precise it's not all about the facial beauty that is where most people miss it you have to be intellectually smart you have to be um you know you you, you 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 have to know what's up you know you just have to know why you're there the business of the day and uh, one of the best thing about it is having a good management and that is where my story started because that was what i don't have initially and that was what actually brought the most beautiful girl in nigeria dream of mine down sinking and that felt so terribly bad but i thank god for today i'm not regretting it like per se but i wish i was able to attend that dream of that uh, goal of mine because that's my own story to share as well um so let me go from the beginning growing up i've been i've always been an active child in the sense that i am so independent i love um being i'm not shy of being in the front of the camera i have in, in, in primary school that um from preschool i've been so active 
grade during my great time at school i represented my class in so many things i am a very good I, i'm good with sports i dance a lot i sing you know i always you know I represent my class in a dancing competition like when they say Igbo house are you over down there in nigeria i don't i wasn't shy i go for it i take um they will ask us then to get rappers from our parents if you remember <laughs> Uh, your parents will give you like wrappers for you to tie on your chest to do the cultural dancing stuff during my great years at school i did dance i collected my mom's wrapper my mom was so in support of that you know seeing your child being active at school it, it, it's something to reckon with yeah so she do give me her wrapper sometimes before we finish the dance the wrapper has done i'll bring it back like that these are hollandies <laughs> But the, as a child, I uh, fulfilled one of my dreams and passion, which was representing my class. And I was so happy doing that. And that kept on going and I grew with that as well. During my um, secondary school time as well, my high school, I did that. I represented my school very well. I went to Federal Government College, Sokoto. I represented my school very well. And most um secondary school when they have like inter competition in the house i did represent my own house i was in bainway house then too we have different houses we have rima house bainway house Oshun house and the uh, ninja house you know these are blue green uh, yellow and uh blue green yellow and red house so they, we, they do give them names so i do represented my own um high school to uh, represent them in dancing and singing and, and i'm going to show you one of these pictures here you're seeing this picture here you're seeing is me dancing the full army dance because it's uh i did the the culture the house cultural dance as well i did i, I think i did yoruba just once but house Igbo, i'm very good at it this full army dance we actually went to abuja to, to represent our school we went to the villa they took us to the villa to dance and we spent like two during the Abdul Salam's time when the Abacha was uh, was may so rest in peace when Abacha um, deceased when we lost our our late president Abacha this Sunny Abacha so that period that um, His Excellency Abdul Salam was uh, just represented just took office for a few years or few months that was a period they, they had they already held um they already started fixing this competition and uh, they called different school federal com any federal government schools just google it there or, or if you remember this um time please drop your comment section on the comment box and let me know your own experience i was uh, part of the student that represented the uh, federal government college sokoto during that time and we were at the, at the villa abuja we, sp we spent like few days there we danced, we sing, that's in a, in a big theater. Different school came with their own um, tru uh, uh, troops, um, with their own whatever thing they're doing, dancing, singing. So I was part of the dancing competition. We did a lot of dancing, but this is a picture I can just place for now, you know. I misplaced one of my loving, one of my dear albums to me. But I'm still glad I have this picture. So as you guys can see, here I am smiling. I'm I'm so happy and satisfied doing such things. I love to, I love to, I love to really, really. Uh, I've always been competitive. I've always been in competition all my life, like representing in a positive way, you know. And uh, this is what each um, children needs these days. Uh, even now, I do. I do they still do such things? I don't know. Yeah, they do it at school, but different forms. Yeah. So this is us dancing these are all big girls now <laughs> married with kids i presume some of them though we lost contact so from 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 there i graduated from you know high school to before going into college or during that time and my, my fresh year in college i started modeling you know i started modeling for for brands that's local brands there in abuja so they're modeling i've lost so many of my pictures and this is one of the pictures where i was modeling i was so skinny i was so so skinny please don't laugh at my picture <laughs> but the modeling was very very good i love to model and uh, after that i went to during that that time in high school too uh, in college sorry this this picture is my miss nasarawa miss insuk yeah this uh 
what's this called this thing called again this stuff that that is written miss insook is showing that this was my i'm the miss insook representing insook because in Nassau state each person has to come from each different local government why did that represent um, in, um kefi because my school was in kefi then national state university kefi am i from kefi i know some of you have been asking that question no i'm not from kefi but uh, i i am uh, my, my my university was in kefi then and i have to it's a it's a competition you have to go with the best one of the best you have so uh, it, was, it was a honor and opportunity for me to represent kefi and i'm glad i did and i believe they are glad that i did because these are the pictures during the competition lot and lot of the pictures you know we danced we wore different attires different these are the pictures i can lay my hands on today they ask us so many questions so many many questions i believe one of the questions they asked me then was what are the measures of preventing hiv aids because that was the time that hiv aids was really like so so uh, amplified like the way coronavirus is amplified now you know so i said like a b c abstinence best advice and the use of condoms something like that so they though before the competition we went one of the people that came with me not like my manage management but my student in my school people that we do all this um beauty stuff together you know you know they have we always have team teams that does this drama team you know stuff like that and my school visit by vice chancellor everyone was in support of it they all knew so it's like my school you know went with me i didn't go alone you know so that was what happened i had i had a team that went with me but not like a management team like you know you like you say this is your manager no not like that kind of management team but eventually it was it was it was um it was all hands was on deck and they did a wonderful job and uh, to cut the long story short we brought the trophy home we brought the crown home we brought the glory home back to kefi and everyone was moisturized everyone was happy everyone was glad and these are some of the pictures if you can recognize some of these people here today one was the former um deputy governor of nasara state and one is presently i think the chairman of one of the local in fact just look at this picture vividly well and just make leave a comment of who you can recognize here so these were the pictures this was when i was being crowned and um, being um she the one of the organizers they are wearing me um now crowning me as a miss nasarawa state it was a wonderful experience i can't forget it i really i really really it was it was hectic it was hard work determination as well but at the end of the day i got it and these are the lovely friends that i had then that was with me they stood true with me true think and see you know we all president and you know we never knew <laughs> what life was like but we they actually supported me so very very much i've lost contact with the one in blue but i just recently reconnected with one of them jamila through instagram this is sarah this is patient mama g she just had a lovely daughter these are amazing people oh lord these are really really amazing people and i miss them so it was a wonderful experience before the competition i was so anxious i was so scared i believed in myself but you know that anxiety and i didn't really have my own you know family with me but these are all families then you know at school we are we're all going there to win and eventually we won so we're supposed to proceed to the journey of miss uh, most beautiful girl in nigeria yeah you remember i was talking about that so the person they actually handed me now like they handed me over they they called my school that was the time i am um, nl won the one because they wanted the winners to be from nasarawa state or bainway state but nl won the eventually won and i don't know what happened whether she retained that crown but i don't know what happened but what to call the long, long story short i didn't attend that pageant because there wasn't enough management team for me to go represent the state and that was how nasarawa state was wasn't represented on that that year pageant i think it's 26 or 25 there about yeah nasarawa state was not represented that day that year because i was supposed to be the one representing the state and because of lack of management team and what what what's so, so far to, that the long the story is still is still it's not it's not clear to me even often now but I just want to thank God that I had this experience and uh, this is something that is in me. I love to represent. I love I love culture. I love sports. I love dancing. 
I love her. Uh, I love. Uh, I love pageant. This pageant thing have always been in me. I love. Uh, it's, we are all influencers in one way or the other. So these were part of my stories growing up in this area of uh, of Miss Insu. Then became Miss Miss Nasarawa State. I had lots of gifts. I had lots of cash money. Then you know, then that helped me to put myself in order at school because then you know, eventually I was the one like you know for myself and it was it was it was it wasn't that easy but I thank God I wouldn't want to go into that story <laughs> I thank God I wasn't a lazy student that I'm, I was an active student and I used every opportunity I had to you know I monetized my opportunities uh, um, dancing drama and, and this pageant and you can imagine I think I went further to the most, most beautiful girl in Nigeria at least that's a platform for me to do a lot of things but I thank God that uh, I had that experience and uh, thank God for YouTube platform again to, you know, to, to tell these stories and to encourage any young one out there that want to venture into anything that has to do with modeling because I was also, I was modeling then at school. There's nothing that you cannot do. All you need to do is to get the right team, the right management to manage you very, very well. This is a decent um, business if you have the right team. I know there's this this black um, or this negative label concerning model models or beauty queens and stuff like that. Some of those things are not true. They are big lies. You know, you have to believe in yourself, pray. If you have the right family with you, that's awesome, that will support you. And if they are going to manage you, that's beautiful. But if you don't have a manager, please try to have a manager in the beauty industry or in the industry that has to do with these things so that they will help you promote yourself. You are your brand, promote you because once you are promoted, your brand is promoted. And for parents, if you have any child that has the potential of becoming something like this or, 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 or that has a potential of anything it mustn't be into modeling but when you see that your child is channeling so much energy so much passion on something in particular please support that child that could be that child's breakthrough that will catapult that child all over the world that could that, that will use that child to be a positive impact to this world we are today most of these people we see big today most of them fell fell on the roadside and they picked up themselves again and they became that great again so for me i'm still not giving up i'm not saying i'm going to go back to miss <laughs> modeling and like the beauty stuff but by the grace of god god has given us every enablement every passion we have our dreams our desire to pursue that that he has created us to be on earth and thank god for youtube that is a very big platform for each and every one of us to showcase our passion our talent and all that we love to do even those that we don't love to do through youtube we can still learn and better ourselves in this life without further ado if you're still still here up to now i want to say a big thank you this is a long story but i've tried as much as possible to summarize it to make it short so that this video will not be too long because some people don't like long videos they don't watch it but please try as much as possible to watch this one to the end because there are a lot of things to, to learn from it i've caught i you know shorting them and uh, that's my story and experience during that year and during this uh, modeling and beauty pageant stuff and you know eventually i actually went into movie into acting but i didn't really really pursue that deeper because again i maybe my environment wasn't really helping me and i didn't have the right team or maybe it was me that wasn't really really not sure of if i really wanted to go into it but these are the things i love but if i have any opportunity for such things i still i think that there's a way i'm going to work on it so thank you very much for staying put i hope you all are doing good don't forget to subscribe to this channel like share and comment below let me know your experiences if you if you know people that have done this before or what your passion are or if just ask me questions and let's make our comment section so interactive don't lose focus don't lose your dream don't lose your hope don't lose confidence in who you are you are who God says you are. Have a nice day. See you soon. And God bless you all. Bye.